I need dating advice, not for me, but for my nephews who are college aged. It seems like the girls they meet are woke and entitled. What advice do you, what advice do you give to your boys? Uh, well, among other things, uh, one of ours is sitting right here producing the podcast. <laughs> so I have to adhere to what advice. advice I've, you give yeah. <laughs> I would say the, the advice I believe I have given Zach and Toby is A, that they should, that the rarity of people who have the characteristics one would want in a mate is sufficient that you should be very careful not to assume, oh, you're going to date for a while and then you'll settle down, you'll find somebody, blah, blah, blah. You never know when you're going to meet that person and don't fuck it up because... It, the, the worthy mates are not a commodity at this point. They really aren't. Maybe they never were, but they aren't now. That's for sure. I have said never consider um, marrying somebody who does not have a sense of humor about themselves. The sense of humor about oneself is so important to navigate the difficulties of forging a relationship with somebody that it is an absolute deal breaker if somebody doesn't have it, no matter what other characteristics they may have. Um, I would add, because this is specifically saying the girls they meet are woke and entitled, and yep, uh, but people who know how to do real physical things in the universe are less likely to be woke and entitled, at least at a global scale. So um, meeting people on an adventure you know, backpacking, hiking, or learning a physical skill like carpentry or mechanics or, you know, something. Um, any, anyone who is, who is willingly and is interestedly engaging in such things is going to have a very hard time hanging tight to their wokeness, at least, at least across all domains. Yep. Um, yeah, and I would say a corollary of that is spend as much time as you can in those activities that would reveal those kinds of instincts and skills. It, it's, you know, it's like the opposite of a, uh, a singles bar, right? Spending time in the activities where you might meet somebody who has the characteristics that make sense um, is uh, good. It's a little bit like it's tough, though. I mean, precisely for for young men, um, because the activities that we're talking about um, are now and have historically been more likely to be of interest to young men. Right? Yeah. Um, and so, you know, the sex ratio is going to be pretty skewed um, to start. Yep. So that means be awesome so that that sex ratio is not an obstacle to winning the heart of the right person. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I would also just add, this is not directly responsive, but I would also say um, uh, among the pieces of advice I know I've given, um, don't sleep with people that you know are not marriage material which doesn't mean that you're expecting to marry somebody at the point that you go to bed with them, but it means that it's not cool going to bed with somebody who's already, uh, for whom you already know that there's a deal breaker. 